Looking for the jeans, I'm dripping. You wanna see and see my whip, yeah. yeah. All I had to do was listen. Listen, listen, listen. Gotta got a bitch, I lean. Yeah. On my shot, we did. Whole lot of bad little bitches. Whole lot of bad What's going on, guys? It's your boy, LA Crypto, coming back at it again with these daily DGen farm updates. So today, just like yesterday, I'm going to go over things pretty quick. You know, we don't really got a lot to discuss, but you guys already know what's up. If you guys are brand new to my channel, this is a DGen yield farm channel. So if you guys are brand new to yield farming in general, I suggest you guys check out my tutorials. Then once you guys kind of get a feel for everything, swing on back. Besides all that, I usually go through the BSC farms first, and then I go through the Polygon farms. So if all you guys want to do is check out the Polygon farms, feel free to check out the timestamp listed below and just continue from there. All I ask is that you guys smash that like button for me. But um, yeah, man, with that out of the way, let's get started. So first one up, you guys can already see Honey Farm. This is the, the bread and butter of BSC right now. So what I told you guys, out of all things, you guys already know I'm not a financial advisor. But whenever you guys ask me to point you guys in a certain direction to, you know, do some farming, I always try to do my best. So out of everything on BSC, I was telling you guys, man, Honey Farm was going to be the strongest. And so far, it hasn't let me down. I hope everyone who jumped in uh, when I first talked about it at uh, 88 bucks, I hope you guys, unlike me, jumped in and you guys been chilling, right? Obviously, the second time I talked about it, I was like 110 or something like that. And um, yeah, man, I jumped in. You guys saw and everyone else who jumped in, kudos to you guys, right? We've just been chilling, just been farming. Things have been looking good. So, you know, uh, let me go ahead and harvest both of these real quick. And then, like I said, uh, I'm just going to go ahead and take this harvest. And then uh, I'm just going to drop it uh, right here back into the pool. So you guys already know what's up. I was in the uh, main farm over here. This is where I got my bread and butter. I think it's like about 450 just under 500 bucks. And then, um, yeah, man, I'm just earning basically honey, taking that honey bring it down back to the pool, and then depositing. As you guys know, well, at least I'm hoping you guys know, when you guys read the docs, you guys will see how much the transfer tax is, if it has one, and you guys can kind of see why I'm doing the certain moves that I'm doing. Most of the time when you have a transfer tax, you know, it's kind of, um, you know, counterintuitive to be always depositing small amounts because, you know, you still have to wait out the uh, ROI to make up for the deposit. However, like I said, dude, um, you know, if there's no deposit fee, if there's no transfer tax, it's actually a lot better. So over here, I'm going to go ahead and uh, deposit that little uh, 3.59. And then um, you guys already know the deal. So make sure you guys. <clears throat> so if you guys want to check out uh, Honey Farm, like I said, come down over here, hit the docs. You guys want to read the docs, read up what's going on. You know, do they take transfer tax? You know, how much is it? Do they have harvest tax? All that stuff. After you guys are done with that, make sure you guys check out the char price chart so that way you guys can see the price chart. If we're looking at the price chart, you guys can see we've been on an uprise ever since I've been throwing out the video. All of these, you know, huge spikes and bring down, you know, that's normal. This is people, you know, <laughs> basically, um, you know, FOMOing in pretty hard and obviously people are going to take profits. Other people are going to FOMO in hard on the dips. The other people are going to take profits. So as long as you see this generally... And then uh, uptrend, that's all that really matters. These huge spikes and, you know, people taking profit, that's normal. It's usually when you see this go up and then it just starts dropping down and it completely kills the uptrend. That's usually when, you know, you guys want to, you know, start staring at the chart and then start figuring out an exit. But as of right now, you know, everything looks chill, looks strong. So I'm still going to be here. I'm going uh, to throw everything else in here. And like I said, I'm just going to still chill in the uh, farm. So that's basically going to be my play. Like I said, man, sometimes my plays are different than you guys' but... But you guys already know the deal, right? I'm always after that APR. So if you guys want to check out Honey Farm, the link's going to be down in the description. Just make those moves. Next one up I want to talk about is Jungle Swap. So they just whipped out this brand new Cobra. And, you know, it's not brand new, brand new. They kind of had in the TG. You know, everyone who's into Jungle Swap, you guys already know that Cobra has been coming out. But for everyone who basically threw Jungle Swap to the side, Cobra is going to be their new layer. So... On Cobra, you'll be able to bring your back to jungle, bring back the Kong. So, you know, everyone who remembers that I was just farming up Kong like a madman and farming up jungle, well, now you guys know why. So, I'm going to go ahead and bring my jungle and Kong over here once this little thing pops off. And you guys already know the move. So, uh, link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. And just like with all the rest, dude, make sure you guys have that price chart. And then make sure you guys check out the docs. Hit the more, hit the docs. That'll let you know what the transfer tax is on Cobra. It'll let you know all the moves and basically everything else that's going to coincide with the uh, farm. So, you know, you guys already know what's up. So, link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. 
Next one up we got is uh, Exonium. And this one hasn't popped off yet, but it seems pretty chill. The, uh, you know, the platform seems, you know, I don't really know how to explain it, but it seems pretty chill. Like, you know, they're doing a lot. There's a lot of stuff coming out and it's not, you know, just the whole we're bridged across four fucking chains and, you know, we're fucking going to be shit across all four. Like, <laughs> it's nothing like that. Right. So they're not doing this bridge bullshit. They're not doing the NFT game bullshit. They're actually doing that weird, crazy shit that, um... I was talking about with another farm. There's another farm that was doing these synthetic assets. And these synthetic assets are like the Google, Facebook stuff, whatever. So if you guys see right here, these are all just their basic pools. This is all the basic farm. This is what I was talking about. They're like little synthetic assets. This is like this uh, fang. So I think the fang has to do with that. And then their other synthetic assets are like um, basically the same kind of thing. But like I said, if we come over here and you guys read the docs, like I always tell you, you guys will understand what it is. So if you guys click on here... You guys can see that they have the uh, little stock. So instead of me going through all of this, like I said, dude, make sure you guys come over here, read the docs. All right. Make sure you guys pay attention to when this actually is going to pop off. It tells you everything on when it's going to pop off, what's going to happen. All right. The docs are pretty important when it comes to this one, since it does have a lot of stuff going on. And like I said, um, for right now, the little T acids and I think the uh, like Fang, you're probably not going to have to pay attention to this right now since they might not release it. But um, their little stable dollar, you know, and then the actual token is what you guys got to pay attention to. So, like I said, I think they'll be popping off in about a day or two. But, you know, you guys already know what's up. I like to bring stuff up to you. I honestly don't know if it's going to be the best ever. You guys already know what's up. But, yeah, I'm going to keep my eye on it. I'm going to see what's up. For you guys, I would say, you know, just wait for me to, you know, yap it up again probably tomorrow or the next day till we get some more information. And, um, yeah, I mean, if everything looks good, I would say, you know, jump in. But uh, if you guys don't care about that, if you guys read the docs yourselves, you guys make your own moves and you guys decide on your own that you guys want to jump in here. Cool, man. Just make sure you guys pay attention to all the stuff. Pay attention to the deposit fees. Pay attention to any transfer tax and just add that all in your calculations. But but um, yeah, man, besides that, the notable thing is uh, Polygon and Binance. That's the two networks that's going to be jumping on. So, so if you guys over here on Binance, you guys want to play around, you guys can go ahead and click right there. And then uh, if you guys are on Polygon, you guys can do that too. So. Exonium, uh, they got passed like regular by Rugdoc, but that's only because, you know, there's a whole bunch of shit going on. But like I said, you know, make sure you guys pay attention to the docs because the docs are going to show like their audit. And I think they got a tech grade audit and obviously they plan for a Paladin and Sir Tech and all that. So like I said, man, read those docs. Incredibly important. All right. But you guys already know what's up. So uh, link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out and just make your moves. All right. Next one up we got is a one day farm. This one doesn't look that strong at all, but like I said, dude, everyone who likes to play with one-day farms, cool, here's another one. All of you guys who are brand new, just stay away from one-day farms. Until you guys know what moves you're making and how to play around, just stay away from them, right? Go with one of the other DGen farms that are going to pop off for like a day or two or something that's stronger. So, anyways, for everyone else, you guys already know what's up. Make sure you guys come over here, uh, click on features, because that'll bring you up into their docs. And then, um, you know, read through everything, all right? After you guys check that out, like I said, make sure you guys have that price chart so you guys can see what's going on. And then the pools and the farms. Obviously, the docs are going to let you know what's going on. But like I said, dude, the, the farms and the pools are going to let you know um, basically where you don't want to throw your money and all that stuff. But like I said, dude, just read the docs. And if you guys are, you know, kind of not digging one-day farms right now, just pass, bro. It's, it's incredibly easy for you to pass and throw your, you know, throw whatever you got at honey or you know wait for that cobra with jungle swap or you know if you guys like exonium run with that so like i said you know just make sure you guys make your moves according to you guys and your risk factor you know it sucks to hear someone you know hits me up and says hey man i just went through my first farm ever and i got you know soft rug by this one day farm you know i'm sitting there like well I, like why'd you jump in that one day farm and they're like well i didn't know and you know i thought i would give this a try and like i'm saying the only reason i'm kind of bummed out of that is you're basically not giving yourself the best opportunity at this. You know, you guys, for your first chance, your little first try at DJ and all that stuff, you guys want a stronger farm. If you guys jump into a, a one day and you guys have no idea what you're doing, you guys buy the native, you guys go to sleep and then wake up broke, it's like, I can't help you, you know? If you're not helping yourself, I can't help you. So, like I said, if you guys are brand new, stay away from one day farms. You know, stick with one of the stronger DJ ones we got, so... But uh, yeah, man, that's basically bottle nose. So if you guys want to check it out, link's going to be down in the description. And if you guys are brand new, like I said, just pass. Besides all that, we also got uh, this other one, Lucky Whale. Like I said, it's going to be popping off in, let me see, what, two days? Yeah, so we got like two days left. Like I told you guys, make sure you guys get those auto multipliers running. 
That way, once the farm starts, as long as everything's cool with the farm, you know, it ain't shady and they don't rug pull, you guys can start running it. Obviously, like I told you guys, I have a little bit of money in here, dude. I do not have a lot. This is like five to ten bucks each one, all right? And the reason for that is I have no idea if the, you know, the dev's going to soft rug. You know, I don't know them. <laughs> you don't know them, dude. Nobody knows them. So, like I said, you know, make sure you guys just make your moves so that you guys can prepare for the, you know, farm and all that. But just be safe, dude. Only risk what you guys can lose. So, obviously, five bucks for each one of those little pools. If this guy rug pulls my 20 bucks... Fuck it, cool, he can take it. If uh, they don't rug pull, well, then awesome. Those five, those $20 basically have already preset that uh, those pulls to have a high enough auto multiplier for me to be able to make more money quicker. So, you know, this is that risk factor. But, you know, you guys already know what's up. So, the link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Like always, make sure you hit the more. Check out those damn dogs. Hit that countdown so you guys know when it's popping off. And then the charts. But, you guys already know what's up, so... Next one up I want to talk about was uh, Tengu, and you know, I have a bunch of people, they're hating Tengu right now, obviously it ain't doing so well, and I kind of told you guys that I didn't really dig it, mostly because of the uh, transfer tax, bro, like 100%, I'm going to tell you guys, that's kind of what set me off, like there's no way I'm going to sit around and pray that I make 16%, bro, you know, like that's stupid, you know, you're going to get hit with 8% when you buy it, you're going to get hit with 8% when you sell it, so... Yeah, man, that was basically what was going on with that. For all you guys, like I said, if you guys found something cool, awesome, jump in. If the price, you know, looks like it's on an uptrend, maybe buy some more so you guys can ride it up, sell off at the top. But for everyone else, man, if you guys are brand new, I would suggest that you guys just pass until the uh, farm starts picking up or, you know, we start getting some positive vibes. But you guys already know what's up. So that's basically going to be it for the uh, BSC side. So like I said, man, last minute shout outs, dude. Make sure you guys uh, check out Cobra with Jungle Swap. The link's going to be down in the description. This one comes from Jungle Swap and the same guys from Kong. So, you know, they're a chill team. Besides that, uh, keep an eye out for Exonium. Like I said, I'm going to keep a close eye on it myself. And then if uh, anything looks sketchy, like I said, I'll let you guys know what's up. Besides that, um, if you guys are playing around with the DJ and stuff, you know, right here, Lucky Whale, as long as they don't uh, rug, man, these little hotter multipliers, they should be uh, popping off for us pretty sick, so... But, um, yeah, man, besides all that, dude, the big daddy, the one that you guys should be in no matter what, is Honey Farm. So, if you guys are in BSC, I would implore you guys to hit up Honey Farm while it's still strong. Only because, A, dude, they're backed by strong devs who came from Lazy Mint and Satis Finance. And then, you know, they got a good rug doc rating. So, but, um, yeah, man, you guys already know what's up. So, link's going to be down in the description for all the above. And then, um, you guys already know the deal. So, give me some time to move on over to Polygon, and then we'll continue from there. All right, guys, so we're over here on the Polygon side. You guys can already see, first one up is Parazap. As you guys can also see, you know, I'm not harvesting a whole bunch. So basically what kind of went on is I kind of checked everything out, and it looked like the single stake was essentially the exact same as the dual. So, so after kind of uh, calculating everything with what was going on with the actual farm, where it was lying, you know, how it's kind of doing, essentially going sideways with the APR, you know, I decided to make certain moves. So instead of throwing a full flat thousand in here, I decided only throw in about 500. However, when I threw it in, you know, it was up. And as it goes down, you guys already know what's up. I have to take profits, yada, yada. So in the long run of thinking, what I ended up doing was just throwing in what I had that was profit. So I decided, you know, what I'll do is since I'm, since I'm kind of unsure of how this is going to go and how it's going to play out, I decided just to take my profit, which is like a little bit over 200 bucks, Throw it in here, let it farm out. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm just going to toss it in here. And then, um, yeah, I mean, if this looks like it creeps back up over 260 and stays even and everything looks fine, I'll jump back in. Depending on what these farms or pools are, you know, I'll see what rate it is. As you guys already know, dude, once we start getting down to 5 4%, that's not really my territory. I'm more of a 10% kind of guy. And you guys already know we got some new farms that are going to be popping off, so... You guys already know, man, I like to take my money, move everything elsewhere to get a higher APR. However, like I said, I don't feel like uh, Pear is dead and done, to be honest with you. <laughs> if I can say, you know, I'm going to be real honest with you, you know, I'll be a little bit greedy. I'm actually going to wait until, you know, Pear or the whole team comes out with, you know, some kind of new announcement. Maybe uh, they're going to, you know, have a little APR boost for a bit or something. Because, you know, obviously a lot of people have been telling them, you know, that the APRs from the single and the actual LP, since they're so close, it's almost like, why would you even provide liquidity, you know, if you can just run a single stake? So, hopefully the team figures something out, and uh, if they're able to, like I said, dude, 
you already know me, man. I'll probably uh, pull everything out of here, add a little bit more, add another 500 to it, and then, you know, you guys will be looking at like a little 1,000 sitting in here. But obviously, until then, I'm going to stick to my guns, and I'm just going to chill with uh, what profit I have, let it sit in here, just keep uh, boosting this up. Like I said, what I'm going to do is take uh, my little harvest, so I might as well do that real quick. And then uh, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to take the harvest, what I have already in my wallet, add it to here. And that should be about, you know, just under 250 bucks. So let me go ahead and add that up. And um, yeah, man, that's just basically what I'm going to be doing daily. I'm just going to be dropping this in. And like I said, once I see that everything here is strong and I like what I'm looking at, then I'll jump back in. Like I told you guys, dude, this isn't me saying that, you know, a uh, pair is done. This is just my moves, and they're always different than yours. I've been telling you that, you know. A lot of times I test stuff without, uh, like, 100 bucks or, you know, just to see what happens. For me, I already know that pair is chill, so there's no point in me testing it with only 100 bucks. So I'm going to throw in the rest of my profit, which is, like I said, you know, we're looking at 250 and I'm going to just let that run. Like I said, dude, as soon as this pops off, I'm going to jump back in, but you guys already know what's up, so... With all that out the way, man, if you guys want to check it out, like I said, links will be down in the description. Make sure you guys check out the docs, read everything up, and most importantly, dude, make sure you guys have that price chart. This price chart dictates everything that you guys are going to be doing, all right? We already went through a couple crazy uh, drops and stuff, so I'm thinking that this is going to be nice and steady. So, you know, like I said, the only reason why I'm not going heavy into pair is because of the APRs. That's literally the only reason, all right? So there's no reason for you guys to kind of freak out and be like, oh, man, LA's not in, all in, so I should pull out my money, you know? Trust me, I want to say that's not it, all right? But that's enough yapping, so if you guys want to check it out, links will be down in the description. You guys already know the deal. Next one up I want to talk about is Poly York. So Poly York, you guys can see, annihilated me. That's my $50 uh, LP, so there it is. It's in here. I'm going to go ahead and hit that harvest. And, uh, yeah, I mean, you guys already know what's up. So, obviously, I got annihilated. It is what it is. You know, it's not the end of the world. But, like I said, dude, that's what happens when you guys sleep with natives in here. As you guys can see, that was 50 bucks. So, that's kind of why I went to sleep. No big deal. That was 500 bucks. It would mean <laughs> I'd probably be hurting. So, anyways, man, uh, Polyarch, if you guys want to check it out, like I said, the main thing is check out that price chart. Before you jump in or do anything, check out that price chart. Then, if the price chart looks chill... Come over here, hit that little farm, and then find something that you guys like. If there's something that looks chill, the APR is nice, go ahead and jump in. Like I said, you know, this one's 14%, and that's pretty chill. But if the price is consistently dumping and everything, then you guys are never going to see profit. So for me, dude, I didn't even care about the 50 bucks. I left it in here, and, you know, you never know. Tomorrow, this guy might pop off, and then I might have my 50 bucks back. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I mean, that's crypto. So if you guys want to check it out, link will be down in the description. And if not, don't even worry about it. But uh, next one up I want to talk about is Polycat. So Polycat, they're going to be having their Paul <laughs> fucking shit. I can't even say it, dude. It's, it's fucking ridiculous. Eventually, sometime this year, bro, they're going to come out with their uh, Paul farm and the AMM and everything for it. So Paul's in right here. This is the fish. And obviously, dude, the prices have been tanking, bro. And I can honestly say it's probably because of disinterest with the project, you know. The fact that they keep delaying and keep delaying and keep delaying. Has people, you know, uninterested in the project or has people kind of uneasy? They're nervous, you know. You never want to be nervous if you have a whole bunch of money and some. So, like I said, dude, um, Polycat, you just make sure you guys keep an eye out for it. Um, if I have it in my little video, just like I said, just know that it's going to be cracking over the paw, which is their brand new layer. And then, you know, with fish. So, but um, yeah, man, until uh, that pops off, you know, we don't really got nothing else to say. But uh, like I said, dude, I just want to bring this up just so you guys, you know, have it in the back of your mind. So you guys know what to look out for, right? That IFO, the one I covered, that's this, that's PAW. So if you guys jumped in here when the IFO was 40 cents, awesome. You know, you guys are basically doubled up. A lot of us have basically been sitting at two eggs and, you know, we're just kind of greedy. <laughs> we're basically waiting for it to, you know, creep up over a dollar, dollar fifty, two dollars till we actually start selling. So, like I said, man, those are our moves and our moves are always different than yours. But, but I only wanted to bring this up and, you know, keep this up in your guys' radar. So... Polycat, the link will be down in the description. And like I said, you know, just make sure you guys check everything out. You guys will be all right. Next one up we got is Poly Bakery Cake. And, you know, I didn't cover it a couple days because obviously farming was still like three or four days away. But if we check out their timer, you guys can see, bam, you guys got a day and a half. So 
Um, the link will be down in the description for Polly Bakery Cake. And like I said, this one comes from the whole bake, cream, biscuit, uh, multi-layer. So, you know, we don't expect them to rug or nothing shady, all right? Make sure you guys come down over here, hit the dock so you guys can see what the difference is between all those layers. And then uh, once you guys kind of get, you know, an idea of what's going on, whip out that uh, price chart. Once you guys have the price chart, you guys can kind of see if you guys want to go native or not. Just come on over here, hit those pools, all right? The pools and the uh, farms, which is steps and pieces, that's going to let you know what's going on. Over here on the single stakes, you know, you don't really got a lot of stuff going on for the old layers. So if you wanted to bring the old layers, you're going to have to make some LPs, bring them down over here. You guys will be able to make some bake, some cream, and some biscuit LPs. But you guys already know what's up. So, so links will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. And besides all the little stuff that I told you guys, everything else is the same as the old layers. But you guys already know what's up, so... Next one up I want to talk about is Berry Farms. And yeah, I got some more to harvest. So, you know, I'll go ahead and hit the little harvest for here. I really don't care about uh, this berry farm right now. And like I said, what I have in here are just 50 bucks of dye and like 100 bucks of eat. So definitely nothing crazy. I don't even care. However, I want to talk about their other layer, Blueberry. So we come over here and check out their other layer. This is Blueberry. This is basically the same as the Raspberry. It's just a new farm. So this one's going to pop off in a day and a half. And if this one pops off, just like Raspberry's first day, you know, people should be able to make some good money for the whole first day and a half. Besides that, you know, they also have the Blackberry. So, like always, dude, come down here. <clears throat> come down here, hit the moor, all right? Hit the docks. Read up on what the Raspberry is, on the Blueberry, and the Blackberry. Read up what the tokenomics are, if there's anything different between any of these three you know, transfer tax, all that stuff. So once you guys get a feel for all of that, make sure you guys whip out the charts so you guys know if you guys want to jump in on native. And then lastly, like I said, check out the farms. If the farms look good, they look healthy, they look like, you know, you guys can make some cool moves with the old layers, make sure you guys do so. But you guys already know the deal, man. It's basically the same routine for almost everything, all right? So blueberry farms obviously comes from raspberry farms, so so you guys should kind of feel safe, all right? But um, besides all that, like I said, just make sure you guys check everything out, make those moves. So next one up I want to talk about was Polyfund, and um, Polyfund actually had a whole bunch of, you know, FUD. I do know that, you know, <laughs> you know, the price tank all crazy, and, uh, you know, people were saying that it was a rug pool, and blah, blah, blah. Just to be clear, dude, a rug pool is literally when they fucking take everything. They take all your fucking money. Everything. You know, just because the price dropped doesn't mean it's a rug pool. You guys sound stupid as shit, man. Come on over here. Look, let's look at this right here, dude. All right, you tell me. If you bought a thousand tokens at 35 cents, you know, that's a thousand tokens. Awesome. So, you know, if it was at two dollars and sixty cents and you're going to sell those thousand tokens, that's dude, that's you're looking at two thousand six hundred dollars, essentially, dude. You know, like what you don't think they're going to dump. You think someone who who bought a, you know, five thousand or three thousand dollars worth at 40, 50 cents. You don't think he's going to want to take ten thousand dollars that, you know, like, come on, man, you guys are. You guys, uh, you guys trip me out sometimes because, dude, profit, that's where it's at, dude. There's some people who hold all the way up until the end till it's the highest, and then they dump everything. They bought in, you know, they might have bought it way at the bottom, picked up a whole bunch of the, <laughs> these damn tokens for super cheap, and they dump on you guys, all right? So, obviously, it wasn't a hard rug or a soft rug, considering that, you know, liquidity was there and everything was here. Everyone who jumped in, what, you guys jumped in, like, I think someone was telling me 50 cents or something like that. And, yeah, man, you guys doubled up. So, you know, that's awesome for all you guys who doubled up. You know, everyone's been hitting me up, telling me about Polyfund to keep covering it. Yesterday, there was no point for me to cover it because, you know, nothing popped off. And it was nothing but negative news. And I didn't want to feel the fire. But, like I said, dude, today I got so many messages with so much misinformation, bro, that, you know, I just had to kind of clear it straight. So, Polyfun, I am not defending it like, you know, this is the greatest farm ever. I'm just trying to, you know, clear some shit out, all right? But like I said, if you guys are already in here, just keep farming, do your thing. If you're not in here, like I said, pay attention to that price chart. Come down over here, read, look at these uh farms, read the docs while you guys are doing your things, all right? So well, you guys know what's up with the harvest lock and, you know, all of that stuff. So for all of you guys who said, you know, that this was a hard rug or whatever it was, do like, you guys are just... You guys got it twisted, all right? You know, don't get salty and hurt that, you know, you got dumped on. Bro, if you jump in late while someone else jumped in super early and, you know, they got all that, well, that's what it is, right? So, anyways, uh, Polyfund, the link will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. If you guys are brand new, just pass on it. Don't even worry about it. If you guys are already in Polyfund, just keep farming, so. Next one that we got is C-Swap, which is basically a crypto swap. 
like I said, dude, this one's going to be uh, popping off pretty soon today. Everything's kind of looking janky. However, you know, people have uh, some high hopes for it. The price is down since from yesterday, but it is what it is, right? So come over here, check out the farms. Now that we're getting closer to the farm launch, you know, they're starting to look a little bit more normal. At least this one over here is kind of looking more normal. If you guys hit the details, you guys will be able to see when people actually put in liquidity versus when they don't have anything in there. So if you go somewhere where they don't really have that much liquidity, like 200 bucks, you're going to see, you know, it has a high APR. As soon as, you know, people put in some real money, it drops. So, you know, for everyone who keeps asking those questions, just know that's basically how that rolls. So, and these boys still don't got a damn nighttime. <laughs> But um, yeah, man, I already went over crypto swap. They're KYC by rug Doc, so they shouldn't rug pull. But besides that, you know, this farm could suck. This farm could bang. You know, we don't know what's up. So anyways, link's going to be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. Like always, just make sure you guys run through the routines. You guys will be all right. So next one up we got is Polypup, the third layer. It's already popped off. And dude, it fucking popped off. All right. Uh, I wish I could tell you guys that I went incredibly ham when <laughs> at the dip, all right? But um, you guys already know what's up. You know, I always like to dip my toes before I go in. And right here at the 80 bucks, I was talking to everyone on the Telegram, letting them know that I felt like, you know, 80-ish. This, this was the new floor, you know? So I threw in 500, and I was basically going to hold the other 1500 to DCA. You know, I kind of thought this was going to hit like 70, then it might hit 60, and then kind of cruise down around 60 and then go back up. That's what I thought. So I decided to buy 500, DCA, do my thing. Dude, that, that shit just popped up, all right? Once it popped off and dropped back down, I thought it was going to drop back again. So I decided that, now nah, I'm just going to wait it out. It's a fucking stupid idea, dude. It shot back up again, all right? I essentially let my pride hold me back from buying in more as it rolled up, all right? A lot of us, you know, we're kind of guilty on that. And that's kind of what I wanted to talk about real quick. Because although that's not a win and, you know, I don't look so fucking cool and amazing because I didn't win big. I kind of want you guys to know that, you know, if you guys are feeling a certain type of way, you know, don't let your pride get in the way of money, all right? That's what I did, and let's say, let's say right here when I hit the 500 bucks, fuck it, let's say I threw in another 500, let's say I threw in a thousand over here at, at 138 bucks, you know, we're, <laughs> we're looking at 240, bro, that's money, that's easily over double, you know, I could have easily doubled my money, but the entire time, like I said, I was letting my pride get to me. You know, we were thinking like all oh, the big bag holders, the guys who have fucking hundreds of these damn things like, yeah, dude, they're going to dump on us and blah, blah, you know. And like I said, dude, I let my pride get in the way. And when it dumped down over here, you know, I was like, yeah, it's going to break 100. When it breaks under 100, I'll buy in. It didn't. So I didn't buy in. Obviously, those are stupid moves. You know, I ended up selling back up over here when uh, it cruised over 200 something. Uh, no, that's not it. It was this one right here. Okay, so this is that first one. It actually broke over 200 like crazy. And then once it cruised on back, I ended up selling like just around 200 to 200 flat. And obviously, you know, I easily double my money. This is awesome. Crypto's great. You guys already know profit's profit. But like I said, and you guys can hear it in my voice, I am not happy, bro. <clears throat> not, I'm not, not that I'm not happy with the profit. I'm just not happy with my own performance and how I ran everything you know how i did basically uh with the uh holds on this so you know obviously 2x is great that's what's up however you know had i stuck to my guns had i not let my pride get to me i would have thrown in about 2k all the way in here and like i said i'd be doubled up from there you know i'd be looking at a little 4k obviously that's only half the little portfolio that i would throw in but still going from half my portfolio to basically almost exactly where it's at that's always a good move so you know, that's basically my little story time for here. But like I said, Polypup, the uh, third layer, it's a success, dude. It looking great. And you guys already know what's up. So from here, like I said, I'm just, I was waiting for it to drop back down, do its thing. And it looks like it's not going to happen. So obviously, I'm going to have to bite the bullet. And on the next dip, I'm mostly going to have to buy in. And if it drops down, it hits me, you know, that's karma, bro. That's the way it always is, right? Everyone always says, right when you buy in, the dip. So, <laughs> You know, I'm going to have to eat that, but like I said, dude, I'm already doubled up, so I have 500, I could have like, what, six, like 610 or something like that, that I can throw completely out here, which is the profit, and whatever happens, happens, so that's going to be my move, but I just kind of want to let you know how that popped off, and just kind of want to give you guys that little hint, you know, let you know sometimes that if you guys have that gut feeling and everything's looking good with your whole analysis, or however you guys want to call it, make sure you guys stick to it, all right, stick to your guns, make those money moves. But <laughs> story time. But you guys already know what's up. So besides all that, everything's still the same. This uh down here at the moor is where you're gonna hit the docks. The charts are gonna be down here, alright? 
Make sure you guys check out their little ball dividends because over here is where you're going to be able to stake pup and you guys will be able to stake bone. Obviously, everyone's looking for a good entry point for both of those. So, you know, if we find those, that's where we're going to jump in. Being able to stake both of these, you will earn ball prior to the ball farm actually popping off. So even though these are working and running, the farms aren't active. All right. So just in case you guys kind of were, you know, trying to figure out what was going on with that, that's what's going on. So. Like I said, links will be down in the description. You guys want to check it out. And, um, you know, obviously notable things. This is KYC by RugDoc. And also has a good audit. So, you know, they're not going to rug pull. This should should be strong. So, but you guys already know what's up. So, next one up is uh, Poly Quail. And this is their keg, which is their second layer. And they're also KYC'd. Um, as of right now, to be honest, they're really not doing so great. They're on a downtrend. But you guys already know downtrends always end up hitting a dip and once it hits that dip it's always a fucking uptrend and people are just smashing on money so make sure you guys come over here hit the info hit the docs and then make sure you guys actually click right here so you guys can check out the little uh, chart for the coin if the chart like i said if it's at a dip and you guys want to jump in make sure you guys always buy in at the dips buying at the bottom but um if you're not going to buy in on native like i said don't worry about it just come over here hit the farms and then find one of the farms that you guys want to jump in Make sure you guys wait till it's around time of the launch, but you guys already know what's up. So once you guys find something you guys like, jump in, let it farm. This one's KYC'd as well, so you know we don't expect them to rug pull or soft rug on you guys. But um, you guys already know the deal, so link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. And then uh, I want to run some new ones with you guys, all right? So a little new one is uh, this Hermes. Um, give me a, like a day or two to kind of figure out really what's going on with these guys and to see, you know, how good they are. But um, their pre-sale starts in the day. So like I said, just give me one day to figure out what's up with you guys and make sure that these guys are legit, legit. All right. If they are and everything's chill, then uh, like I said, what we'll do is um, I'll let you guys know what's up so you guys can jump into the pre-sale. If not, and you know, shit's kind of weird, you know, I'll tell, I'll make sure to let you guys know to pass. But like I said, you know, this one look chill. Uh, if we hit the little pre on side, you know, they have a whole bunch of stuff for you guys to figure out what's going on and how to run all that, which does look pretty chill. doesn't really look like you're doing anything shysty. looks like they have a pretty good timeline of how they want everything to run through. So, you know, if you guys want to run into a pre-sale, go ahead, jump over here. But you guys already know me. The safest way to not get wrecked is to basically not lose your money. So those are my moves. And obviously my moves are different than your guys's. So if you guys want to go ahead and jump into the pre-sale, like I said, uh, click on the link come over here hit that little pre-sale link and then that'll bring you right here so besides all that make sure you guys check out the pools make sure you guys check out the farms Cl click over here on the more make sure you guys check out the docs all right talk to them in the telegram see what's going on make sure that they ain't shady and you already know what's up so like i said man just make sure you guys give me one day to figure out if uh all of this is super legit before you guys ape in and all that and like i said once it, you know i give it the pass go ahead and make your moves but, um, like always, dude, I'm just trying to bring stuff up to your guys' radar, you know, as I see it. So, anyways, uh, link will be down in the description if you guys want to check it out. We'll just keep it moving. Alright, so next one up we got is Poly Whale Farm. And this one is basically Lucky Whale from BSC side. So, if you guys want to jump into the Poly side, go ahead. Poly side's on this side. To be honest with you, like I said... Just uh, be careful, you know, only throw in what you guys are willing to lose, you know. If you guys aren't willing to lose something, don't throw it in here, all right? But you guys already know what's up, so this is exactly like the one on BSC, so there's really nothing for me to go over. Just make sure you guys check out the more, check out those docs, have a countdown, and make sure you guys check out the charts, all right? But um, you guys already know the deal, so. Next one up is Exonium, and Exonium was basically the same one that I was talking about on, on the BSC side, so if you didn't check out the BSC side, um, this one has these like assets and all this stuff. So let me go ahead and hit the docs and then let me go ahead and hit the uh, pool. So if we come over here, you see the pools, you know, this is obviously going to look regular. This Texo is their uh, token. So their little token Texo, that's what that is. If you cruise down a little bit more though, you'll see that they have obviously a little LP and then they have these, these little fangs. And basically these are like their little T synthetics. So if we come over here and check out those docs, like I always tell you guys to do, you guys come down here, you guys can read what the synthetics are. And the synthetics are essentially the, uh, you know, Facebook, Apple, Amazon, Google, whatever it is. All right. So that's essentially what those are. And the thing, that's what that is. It's like a, <clears throat> it's basically a, a one token thing that refers to all of those. So those two little things are going to be popping off, you know, later on. As of right now, they're only going to have the T-Dollar and the Texo. So, like I said, make sure you guys click on these docs, read everything so you guys know what's going on. And then, you know, obviously get ready for the launch. So, 
after you guys are done reading the docs, like I always tell you guys, make sure you guys check out the pools, check for something that you guys like, and if everything looks chill, awesome, jump in. As of right now, you know, there's no point for you to basically jump in. On this side, this is, uh, let me see if I click on the poly side. You guys can see, you know, this is their countdown and everything, but like I always do, like I keep trying to tell you guys, <clears throat> pay attention to the APRs when the farm is going to be launching so you guys know what's going on. And like I said, just check everything out early on so you guys know what moves you guys want to make. You guys can see right here, this one's going to pop off in a day, and that's where you guys going to be able to stake that and, you know, make those moves. If you come down up over here, this is going to be popping off in six days. So, like I said, read the docs, you guys will know what's going on. But, um, yeah, man, that's basically Zonium. Uh, rug doc, you know, they couldn't really cover them too much because, obviously, they're kind of complicated, whatever. But uh, they do have a uh, tech rate audit, so if you guys want to check that out, go ahead and do so. And, like I said, you know, just keep this on your radar see how it does and then um you know once it pops off we'll see what's up so the uh, price of texel is obviously right here it's 420 so that's what you guys are looking at it's a good number but yeah man i'm just gonna keep my eye on it and i'll let you guys know what's up so link will be down in the description you guys want to check it out and then the uh, last one before i you know bounce out i was talking about this one the other day this is a uh, polywave it uh was i think what like 18 or 19 cents when i first talked about it so it obviously popped up a um, nice little number which is chill this one was the one I was telling you guys that it's just that like little stable farm. So for you guys to run down over here and, you know, get some little 1% a day, whatever. Obviously got bumped up a little bit because the price got bumped up. So if you guys come down here, you guys can see, you know, you're probably getting a little bit more. But you guys already know the deal, dude. This is basically a little stable farm. And I'm a DGen farm channel, so obviously I don't really dig these too much. But like I said, I know a lot of you guys do. So, you know, just bring this out there. So if you guys want to check it out. Link will be down in the description, all right? For all my DJ homies who just, you know, just like me, you guys like 10% or more, don't even worry about it, all right? The, everything here is chill, but like I said, dude, if they're not doing out 10% a day, our money will basically be making more money elsewhere, right? So um, that's basically it for Polygon side. Like I said, man, last minute shout outs, dude. Parazab, you know, like I said, <laughs> I know I've kind of jumped out a bit, but as long as this rocks off and everything's chill for the next day, I'll jump in and we'll see what's up with the APRs. Besides that, dude, like I said, uh, <clears throat> Polycat, you know, make sure you guys check that out. The little next layer is going to be popping off pretty soon. So we're hoping, you know, that they don't fuck up and everything pops off pretty smooth. But, um, you know, if they don't pop off smooth, you know, you guys got other farms like Poly Bakery Cake. That's going to be popping off in a day. You also have Blueberry, which will be popping off in a day. Let me see what else we got. We got uh, Poly Pup, the little third layer. That's going to be popping off pretty soon, too. So I think it's probably about another two days. So, you know, make sure you guys put that down on the radar. The quail is going to be popping off basically next week, essentially. So, you know, if you guys want to just spread some stuff out, you guys can throw that down on the little calendar. And then, like I said, we have a couple new ones for you guys to check out, like Hermes, Exonium. You guys already know what's up, so. But, uh, yeah, man, that's basically it, yo. That's been my time. You guys already know what's up. If you guys like my content, make sure you guys smash that like button for me, drop kick it, hit it with the people's elbow. If you guys have any questions or comments, like always, dude, just throw them down below. You guys can see I answer everybody. I ain't shy. If uh, you have a particular question that maybe I can't answer, I suggest you guys check out my community telegram, dude. These guys are DJ monsters, all right? They're from all over the world, so they're up 24-7. Whatever question you got, trust me, man, someone's going to be able to help you. And uh, yeah, man, besides all that, this is the second... 5th, 10th video of mine, yo, that you watched, and you still haven't subscribed yet, yo. Hey, bro, come on now, dawg. <laughs> alright, homies. Y'all stay up, alright? Peace.